Now to the final farewell to Michigan's own John Dingell. The late congressman served in the House of Representatives for 59 years. That's longer than any other person in American history. Over the years, Washington, D.C. became a second home for John Dingell, and today it was Washington's turn to pay tribute. Hundreds gathered at Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Georgetown for a last goodbye to the dean of the house. Among the mourners was former President Bill Clinton. He remembered the former congressman as a man who could reach across the aisle to get things done. He loved politics, but he also understood that not everyone would, dis would agree with him. And if you believe in the Constitution of the United States, that that was a good thing. It would give us a better, stronger country as long as we continue to see each other first as people. The now Detroit's Heather Catalo was there in Washington for the emotional send off. Goodness, decency, and friendship. Those were the things John Dingell came to value most. And during his funeral here at this historic church in Washington today, his friends praised him for leaving an unmistakable imprint on America. The tears haven't stopped all week for Congresswoman Debbie Dingell as she says goodbye to her husband of 38 years. Hundreds of mourners filled this historic church in Georgetown to pay tribute to legendary former Congressman John Dingell. Dingell represented Southeast Michigan in the House of Representatives for more than 59 years. The thing I loved most about him was that he was a world class doer. He understood that the trust he was given as a member of Congress representing his people was first and foremost a job. Bill and Hillary Clinton sat on either side of Debbie during the service, supporting her during this final farewell. John told everyone, each of us I'm sure, that Deborah, the lovely Deborah, her first name is lovely, The lovely Deborah was his strength, his steady hand, and his most important advisor and closest friend. Outside the church, family members and friends fought back tears as the honor guard saluted John Dingle's flag-draped casket. I saw a lot of my dad's friends from uh, every part of his life, uh, not just politics. There were a lot of old hunting buddies there, or there were um, a lot of family members, just a remarkable number of people that uh, loved my dad and are still showing it. He was bigger than life, you know, he's, he's one of those people you just figured would always be around and uh, you know, so this makes, makes today kind of a tougher day. More than 120 members of Congress attended today's funeral. John Dingell will be buried tomorrow at Arlington National Cemetery. Reporting in Washington, I'm Heather Catalo for the Now Detroit. Thank you, Heather. And as Heather just said, Mr. Dingle will be interred at Arlington National Cemetery at a special ceremony tomorrow morning. That's scheduled to happen at 9 o'clock.